Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to display the powers of the number that is 2 using the anonymous function and the map function so guys previously we had seen how we can get the powers of 2 using the for loop in the previous python program so guys by just using one line of code over here inside the for loop we can easily get the powers of 2 but guys in this program we are going to check how we can use the map function along with the anonymous function as well in order to achieve the same task so over here in the vs code what we will be doing is i just clear these lines of code and then guys we are going to use the map function over here so as you can see this is the map function it takes two parameters the first parameter is the function itself so guys over here i will say the name of the function that is power over here and then the second parameter it can be the list so basically we are going to have the list of numbers in order to find the power of two so we will define a list over here let's say we have four numbers that is one two three and then four so guys we are going to find only four powers over over here that is 2 raised to 1 then 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 and 2 raised to 4 so guys the second parameter is nothing but it is the iterable over here and the first parameter in this case is the function that we want to execute so basically we are going to define this function so we are going to use the def keyword followed by the power function over here and this function it will take one number at a time the first number will be one so this number will be taken over here and it will be passed to this function that is power so over here we will take the number as i and then inside this what we will be doing is we will simply return 2 raised to i so over here 2 and then 2 times multiplication and then i over here so guys basically we are doing 2 raised to 1 for the very first instance over here and then we are getting 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 4 so one at a time this power function will be called by using this map function over here now guys we are going to store this result inside another variable so over here we will simply say map underscore result and then equal to so guys what is happening behind the scenes is one number is being taken at a time and then this power function is being called and one at a time these parameters are being passed to this power function and then we are getting the result and getting it stored in the map result now guys we can simply print this map result by converting it into the list so over here what we will do is we will have the print statement and then we will have the list function over here inside this list function we can simply provide the map result over here so will provide map result so the result that we should be expecting is 2 raised to 1 that is equal to 2 then 2 raised to 2 it is 4 then 2 raised to 3 is 8 and 2 raised to 4 is 16 all the numbers should be present inside this list over here which is going to be printed so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting this list that is 2 4 8 and then 16 so guys this is the way that we can easily use the map function in order to find the power of 2 now guys we have also said that we are going to write the anonymous function so instead of this power function what we can do is we can simply remove this power function and we can define the anonymous function that is lambda it is going to take one parameter which we will name it as i over here and then colon and then we have to provide the same expression that we have provided over here in the return statement so i'll just copy this and paste this over here so guys now we have got rid of the power function we can remove this definition of the power as well and with the help of the map function and the anonymous function inside the map function we are achieving the same task over here let me just run this code once again i'll just enter another number that is 5 so 2 raised to 5 will be also computed and will be stored in the map result which will be printed again so let me just save this file now and try running this code as you can see we are getting 2 4 8 16 and then 32 so guys this is the way that we can find the power of 2 over here using the map and the anonymous function over here we can have some more labels as well we can say power of 2 and then colon and then we can have the list of this map result so basically what we will be having is the label over here that is power of 2 and then the list of all the elements for which we have already found the power of 2 guys can we have the range function over here instead of this list let us try that so when we provide range over here so this is the range function and then inside this range let's say we provide the number 10 so it will go from 0 up to 9 so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see yes we can provide the range function as well it is going from 0 that is 2 raised to 0 is 1 and then 2 raised to 1 is 2 then we have 4 
8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256 and then 512. So guys basically it is going from 2 raised to 0 up to 2 raised to 9 in this case. So guys this is the way that we can easily use the combination of the map function along with the anonymous function in order to find the power of 2. Apart from finding the power of 2 we can have any other expression over here based on your requirements. So guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is python program to add arrays using the map function. So stay tuned.